Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. Thank you so much for joining me in this series about controlling playback in Dorico. We've had a look at expression maps over the last couple of videos, and now we're going to look at percussion maps, what they are, how they differ from expression maps, and how to create one. So what is a percussion map? Well, it's much like an expression map. It allows you to take a percussion preset, where typically each individual MIDI note plays a different instrument or a different instrument technique, and connects it to Dorico's library of untuned percussion instruments. You'll often use an expression map alongside a percussion map in order to control its dynamics. We'll look at that later in the video. Percussion maps are found in the library menu next to expression maps. If we look at the general MIDI percussion map, we can see a table that has a row for each MIDI note and columns that show the sound for that note and the Dorico instrument it maps to. For example, if you play a C1 in a preset that conforms to the general MIDI drum map, you'll get a bass drum sound. So this map will send all Dorico kick drum notes to C1. And you can specify techniques. So regular snare drum notes will play note D1, but side stick notes will play C sharp one. Hi-hats will be sent to F sharp one, but add an open playing technique in Dorico and will send it to B flat one. Here's a percussion map for the Groove Agent SE Studio Kit that's included with Dorico Pro and Dorico Elements. You'll notice some of the mappings are the same as with the general MIDI percussion map, such as the kick and snare drums. However, other areas of the map are very different, such as all of these rows describing various hi-hat techniques and sounds that Groove Agent SE offers. This is why it's important to have the correct percussion map for the kits you use. Without it, percussion music in Dorico will either generate no sound or playback using the wrong instrument sounds. Similarly, the Iconica Sketch Percussion Map is unique to the untuned percussion preset in the Iconica Sketch Library. That makes use of a range of notes for each percussion instrument in turn, mapping each of the various techniques the preset offers. Note how you can have multiple entries for the same instrument technique, supporting the case where more than one kind of playing technique should trigger that sound. For example, using either trills or tremolos for a snare drum roll. Create a percussion map in much the same way as you would an expression map, starting either from scratch or duplicating an existing map, remembering to give it an identifiable name. Show all MIDI notes when you're creating the map so that you can access the notes you want to map Dorico's instruments to. As I talked about in the previous video about expression maps, make sure that you've set Dorico to use the same middle C convention for MIDI notes as your sound library, otherwise your entire map may be out by an octave or two. Find the first note that produces a sound in your sound library percussion preset and make a note of what it is. In the Dorico percussion map, Ensure you have selected the correct MIDI note. Then in the edit section, enter the name from the sound preset in order to more easily identify it. Click the three dots and browse for the corresponding Dorica instrument and also do the same for the technique. You must specify a technique. So if there's no special technique, use natural. That way Dorico will know to use this mapping for all regular notes for the instrument. Remember to click apply. In order to duplicate the row for instances such as the snare rolls I mentioned earlier, click Add Key Switch Alternative and populate as necessary. Once you've entered data for all of the MIDI notes in your preset that can generate sounds, you can switch to show only the MIDI notes that are in use to give a clearer view of the map. Now, in many cases, untuned percussion instruments are performed by striking them once for each note. As a result, using note velocity is adequate for controlling their dynamic. However, for techniques such as rolls that are perhaps perceived as just one long note, you can perform a change in dynamic intensity across its duration. Thinking back to what we learned with expression maps, 
we need to use a control change in those instances. And we do this by creating an expression map for use alongside the percussion map, setting the natural switch to use note velocity, and creating switches for rolls, tremolos, and so on that use CC1, or indeed, whichever control change your preset uses. You do not need to add any key switch actions for these, as they're used purely for controlling the dynamics of whichever instruments in your percussion map are set to those same techniques. With your percussion map set up, an expression map if required, switch to play mode, select the instrument in the tracks view, and set the routing to the correct VST, including port and channel if necessary, then assign the expression map and percussion map. Percussion kits, whose instruments all use the same sound library, can be set at the top level. However, you can disclose the individual instruments in a kit and route to different VSTs and use different percussion maps if required. So that's how to create a percussion map here in Dorico. Next, we'll look at how Dorico connects the musical markings in a score to the switches and notes in an expression or percussion map. This is the next important step in understanding playback templates, and will also give you the power to trigger any available sound from your own text and symbols. Please do like this video if it's been useful to you, and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching. Thank you.